in a jumpsuit girl i don't buy dresses or two-piece but after wearing this two-piece that i made today hi this two-piece made my body look so hot if, can't you say i'm sweating it's because my body is hot i think it's a crime to be this hot no 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 how will people around me survive ha i need to report hello officer i want to Hi beauties welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i turned my old law school skirt into a two-piece i love how this two-piece turned out and this two-piece is so versatile i can wear it like this i can tuck it in and make it look like a dress i can wear it as an off shoulder like <laughs> i'm loving everything about this two-piece so if you want to see how i achieved it let's get started and it's also the easiest diy i've done so yeah that's that so i started by placing my skirt on a flat surface then i measured um the length i want my skirt to be which is 18 17 inches 17 inches long and after that i drew a straight line across and i cut it The smaller part to serve as the top while the bigger part as the skirt this is how it's looking like with no adjustment no darts no hemming let's go to the dart place the dart at this part of the skirt that i'm indicating both the front and the back inserting the dart is optional the purpose of it is to make your skirt fit small so this is how you place your dart you start big and end small like some form of triangle and the dart should be inserted on the wrong side of the outfit and not the right side and also my dart was five inches long and half inch wide so you pinch your half inch together and start pinning but as you're getting to the end you're reducing the inch or whatever <laughs> i hope i explained it the next way. thing i did was to hem the edge of the skirt you know the place i cut from just hem it to make it look neat and kind of professional <laughs> Fold it and hem it all around. After that, we set it aside and work with the top. You know the top is the lower part of the skirt and the lower part of that skirt had um, a slit. So this is what I'm closing up. And after that, I'm going to just hem the parts where I cut from just to make it look neat. Yeah, hem this part, fold it and pin it down to sew. So this part, I'm basically trying to show you how to insert or sew it that. I hope this helps a little bit. This is how it's looking after all the sewing and hemming you can leave it this way if that's the kind of thing you're into but i took an extra step to add sleeves to it so i'm i'm using this net 
fabric the width of my sleeve was 15 inches wide when folded and this is how i'm going to cut and the length of my sleeve was 23 inches long I'll cut it out and I'll use the part I cut out to cut out three more fabric because I wanted to double the net to make it a little bit thicker and because we have we need two sleeves so I had to cut out four if I was not doubling it I'll just cut out one more fabric Then after that, I'm folding it to join and I'm going to sew it along the side to join it together. This is what it's looking like after joining it. The next thing I'm going to do is to fold both the top part and the lower part of the sleeve in order to create a tube for my elastic to go in. I'm just using my elastic to get my sleeve measurement. This is so frustrating to do it by yourself. So make sure you get someone else to help you get the measurement. So after creating the tube, I'm inserting using my bobby pin. You can use your safety pin to pass the elastic around the tube. My regret doing this is that I'm not using a black elastic ball. At the end of the day, I'm using what's available at home. And what's available is a white elastic. So... If I could have it any other way, I would have used a black elastic. So what I'm doing is to pass my elastic through the tube that I created earlier and yeah. After passing it through, the next thing I'm doing is just to tie the elastic together and then drag it so that the tight parts will just hide inside the tube and then you stitch the two openings together. I guess. After that, you turn your sleeve to the right side and get ready to attach it to your top. Taking the part where I joined the sleeve, I'm going to use that part and that's where I'm going to attach to the side of my top with a needle and thread. So you don't need a sewing machine to attach it. So I'm using my needle and thread to attach the two sides together. After attaching the sleeve, it will look like this. You can leave it this way, but I took an extra step to, you know, pinch the middle of my top together, like three steps or so just to create like a sweetheart neckline is that a neckline whatever just to create that effect and this took i think it took my top to the next level i don't know then i'm going to you know stitch it together with the needle and thread And we are done. This is the final look. 
guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any question feel free to ask me on my instagram or just drop it in the comment section and i'll be happy to reply you guys i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for all the love you've shown me so far god bless you and bye